Hello and welcome to this short reflection. Let me begin with a story that I heard several years ago and has stuck in my mind ever since. A man was walking along a road, labouring under the weight of a very heavy sack which he was carrying over his shoulder. One day he saw someone up ahead of him, standing by the side of the road, and as he got closer he saw that it was an angel. And the angel said to the man, What on earth have you got in that sack that looks so heavy? Well, said the man, the sack contains all my worries, and I've been carrying it for ages. Can I have a look inside it, said the angel. So the man took the sack off his back and laid it on the ground. When the angel opened the sack and they looked inside, it was completely empty. The man was absolutely astonished, gobsmacked. He just couldn't believe it. And as they talked together, the man realised that he had always had two kinds of worry. Worries about yesterday, things that had happened in the past, and he now saw that the past was gone and there was nothing he could do about it. The other kind was worries about tomorrow, things that might happen in the future, which of course he now realised had not yet happened and he could do nothing about that either. The angel told him he didn't need the sack and the man gladly threw it away. Now that's a nice little story, but there is a serious point behind it. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus tells us not to worry. He says it three times, in fact, but he does so within a very specific context. He encourages us to do two things, to consider the birds of the air and also to consider the flowers of the field, neither of whom worry about anything, but are looked after by their heavenly father. It's worth looking in a bit more depth at that word consider, because in the original Greek of this passage, it means to pay close attention to, or maybe to observe closely. And paying close attention to anything, let alone birds or flowers, is something we don't do nearly enough of these days. Our lives are just too rushed, and we're always concerned to be getting on with the next task. Evelyn Underhill once wrote that, for lack of attention, a thousand little miracles elude us every day. For lack of attention, a thousand little miracles elude us every day. You see, if we are prepared to slow down, and to give time to observing the world around us, then that is an added antidote to worry. Why? Because when we do that, we are living in the present, in the present moment, the sacrament of the present moment, as some of those famous medieval mystic writers might have said. So much of our lives are spent looking back to the past and worrying about decisions we may have made back then, or particular things we did, or else we spend time looking ahead to the future and worrying about all the things that are still, we still have left to do. We spend remarkably little time living in the present. And it's in the present, of course, that we can meet with God and know his peace. By paying more attention to the what's around us, we can develop a discipline of living in the present, and we may be surprised at how much less we worry. So Jesus, as ever, offers us wise advice. Pay attention to the birds of the air. Pay attention to the flowers of the field. Enjoy being in the moment and stop worrying. <laughs>